everyone, uh, Westwood Archer here again, also known as uh, Kev from Robin Hood Arrows. Um, and I've got a review of a pocket quiver for you today. Um, Chris at CJ Leather heard I was looking for one uh, and very, very kindly sent this absolute beauty here. Um, let me just show you some of the detailing on this. If I come into the camera a little bit, you can see he's uh, tooled my name on there, all the intricate detail he's put on, absolutely beautiful. The quality of the stitching is spot on. It, it's a really nice looking but very, very robust piece of kit. Um, I believe leather workers go more on, on weight of leather than thickness. But just to give you an idea, this is about three and a half mil thick. I've just uh, a couple of minutes ago measured it. Um, solid. I mean, this kind of thing will, would last an absolute lifetime. Um, and what Chris has done with this system, he's made it a two-part system. You've got your belt loop, which you could basically keep um, on your belt all the time. Um, obviously, you just thread it through, goes without saying. Um, and you can leave it with your jeans on all the time and just clip the uh, pocket quiver on and off via the pop studs on here. Now, you'll notice there's two rows, so you've got a high and a low position, which again, I find is a, is a really nice touch. Um, now, as you can see, I have a belt on my jeans, but I quite like having it on a separate belt, so I can leave it hooked up um, and just literally throw it around my waist and go out and shoot. Um, it's lightweight, you don't even know it's there. Um, and a lot of the times, because I've got it on a separate belt, I just leave it kind of hanging like this. Um, Chris says he recommends that uh, people actually use it in the, uh, the jeans pocket like this with a little flap hanging over the top, hence the name, pocket quiver. Um, and it does work very, very well like that, but I find it works equally well um, either in or outside the pocket. So in summing up, beautiful piece of kit, robust, lasts a lifetime. Um, and I have to thank you, Chris, for sending this to me. I really, really like it. I've been using it best part of the month now I think um, and I find it's very very handy for, for uh, just grabbing stuff and going out and having a quick shoot so cheers for that um, I think the only thing left to do now is for me to show you it in operation and uh, so you can see how it all works if you've never used one before that is okay so let's do that here we go. okay here we go um, as you can see I've got the pocket quiver on um, one thing I forgot to mention was the capacity. Um, I've got wooden 11 30 seconds uh, shaft arrows in here at the moment, and six fits nicely. That's a nice snug fit. I think you'd be struggling to get more than six in of this uh, diameter spine. Um, but my 5 16th carbon arrows, I've easily got seven of those in. Um, just uh, as a little point of interest for you. Okay? Um, as you can see, I've got it inside the pocket, as Chris recommends. Um, and another one Chris recommends is, as most people do, just reach around the back to get the arrow to shoot. Okay, it's as simple as that. You kind of grasp down the bottom of the shaft and you're straight on there. They're just really nicely, easily to have. don't even need to look, it's just there all the time. One thing I like do, doing though, especially when the quiver is on the high position, is like this, over the top, and it's almost like a back quiver. There we go, that's the pocket quiver from CJ Leather. Thanks again, Chris, really loving it. That's all for now, Westwood Archer, catch you later.